hold on to hope. When strange omens like a blood red sun appears, we can choose to not react in fear. Hold on to hope. Believe that we are not, in fact, living in the twilight zone. Hold on to hope. Even when the worst in humanity continues to rear its ugly head. Hold on to hope. We can sow our divided boundaries together again. Hold on to hope. As some become consumed by competition and greed, challenge yourself to breathe deep and find your peace of mind. Hold on to hope. Find ways to cope with all stress. Find mindfulness in all this mess. Hold on to hope and don't let go. These next two are prompts I'm going to read. I've been part of a few creative writing groups, many virtual beings through the pandemic, and this was one I wrote. Any Harry Potter fans in the audience? Oh, I oh cool. I wrote this one inspired by the reunion special that aired on HBO Max this year. It's, it especially described to the hall where they all eat. The candles hung from the ceiling, glistening in the familiar light. Like, kind of like these. Countless memories and laughs bring the familiar faces joy and delight. Time is indeed a strange thing, although as discovered, some things never change. One being the magical power of these stories to lift anyone's spirits, no matter how many years fade away. Nice. Thank you. This next one is an erasure I wrote, and it's basically when you take a poem or a lyric, kind of take parts of it and make it your own. So for this one, I took a, it's a symphonic metal band called Epica, their song, Skeleton Key. A thousand answers, hiding within our mind, many sleepless nights, waiting for the sunrise. My thoughts cut me like a knife. I am suffocating to find the lightning that shines inside our mind. Many sleepless nights, waiting for the sunrise, longing not to be scared. Hide in the dark, find the lightning. Many sleepless nights, waiting for the sunrise, with peace of mind, the secrets harmonize. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This last one I'll do is one of my favorite poems I've ever written, inspired by just growing up and gaining, the, gaining confidence and maybe struggling with social anxiety. So it's called Looking at the Ground. Confidence is key to survival, to be able to look your rivals straight in the eye and tell them to move out of your path. If you're unable to do so, they'll unleash an ugly wrath upon you. They'll point and laugh at your shyness because they think it's funny that your eyes are constantly locked on target with the surface you walk on. They believe you can become walked on. I'd hate to see you become another victim. If only you can find a way to not be so down on yourself, to be able to look up from the ground and discover a newfound confidence, one that reignites your inner strength so you can feel unstoppable in this rough world. Accept who you are in this life, all your quirks, faults, unique qualities, personal opinions, and your own distinct voice, so you can make the choice to stand up for yourself, because there's no one else who can lead a life like yours. Thank you.